I'll show you this in a second. They upgraded us to an amazing suite. We're gonna get picked up in the Rolls Royce, which is completely absurd. Okay, got these lollies. Actually got these shoes Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to London, welcome to the vlog. We've been here for a few days and if I look tired, it's because I am tired. We have been going nonstop, walked a ton yesterday. We landed on Thursday late morning and then we just kind of, what did we do Thursday? Oh yeah, Thursday we shop. I'll show you this in a second. I'm very excited about it. And we just kind of like walked around our hotel. We're staying in the Mayfair area. We're staying at Hotel Cafe Royal. It's a beautiful hotel. It's part of the set collection of hotels, if you're familiar with that. They have really incredible properties around the world. I'll give you guys a room tour. They upgraded us to an amazing suite. And also the coolest benefit of this suite is that it comes with a private chauffeur for 10 hours a day and it's in a Rolls Royce. I've never been in a Rolls Royce before and we feel so, we feel so silly. <laughs> like going out to bars, like, I don't know, we, we've been using it like around dinner time and then like the driver just like takes us to drinks and takes us to dinner and then took us to like a bar after and we just like feel silly because like people like look, like what is that Rolls Royce? Anyway, I'll show you that. Uh, we have it it's this afternoon today, we started booking it. We walked from our hotel all the way along Hyde Park. It was really beautiful. The sun came out, which is quite rare in February. It's also like almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really mild, which is great. And we, so anyway, we walked a while. We went to Portobello Market and we walked around there. Not really much to see at Portobello Market. Last time I was here, I was like college aged. And I don't know, I just remember it being a little different. It was cute. And then we stopped and got some coffee. That was nice. Got a little cappuccino and just kind of vibed out there for a little bit before we went to lunch. Went to lunch at Bibi, which is a, an Indian restaurant. I believe it has a Michelin star. It's fairly new. I know everyone knows about Dishoom in London, but we went to Bibi and we had their lunch, they had like a prefix lunch, and it was really, really good. It was like five courses and the staff was really lovely and very, you know, explaining everything to us. And we sat at the counter. The chefs were all behind there making the lunch it was a really cool experience and then after that we walked uh, back to the hotel and then we got ready for our night and we went to the Connaught hotel i hope i'm pronouncing that right and oh yeah the first night we went to scarves bar love scarves bar scarves bar is at um the rosewood hotel incredible the first night we went to chiltern firehouse i'm am i all over the place it's because yes i am and last night we went to colette it's an italian restaurant new and it was really tasty. That's it for now. We are going to Shoreditch today, so I'm gonna take you along for that. And a little bit later on our trip, we're going to Soho Farmhouse. So I don't know if you're familiar with Soho Farmhouse, but it's just north of London in the Cotswolds, and uh, it's part of Soho House, obviously. But it's just gonna be a little bit more relaxing and you know less city vibe. So I'm excited for that, and obviously you're gonna come along for it. But for now, let's start the day. Date. We're not going to Shoreditch because Shoreditch is pretty far away from where we are. So we just had my fifth coffee of the day. And now the hotel car is coming to pick us up. We're gonna go to 40 Greek Street, which is the original Soho house. So that'll be pretty cool. And we're gonna get lunch there. We're gonna get picked up in the Rolls Royce, which is completely absurd. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> To the Regent Suite at Hotel Cafe Royal. When you enter in, you enter into this kind of weird vestibule area, but what's nice is we have a full bar here, fridge. I really like this like black marble of the bar area. I thought that was cool. And then into here is the 
first room. This is the living room. I really love the floor detail. It's really beautiful. And the cool walls. Also, like brick, I guess. There's a lot of history in this building and it's uh, it was all restored to be nice and modern, but you can see out here, like we have a beautiful view right down Regent Street, I believe. And what's cool is that these windows are super noise canceling. Over here, there's like a nice little sitting area and table or even having breakfast room service every morning. There's breakfast included in our room, which is really nice. Back into here. And then there's a powder room, which is nice. Fun fact, discovered this two days into the trip. Didn't know this existed because I just thought it was, I just honestly thought this was a light feature, which it kind of looks like. There's fresh flowers throughout the entire suite, which is beautiful. So you'll find them here. There were some in the, the other living area, which was really nice touch. Then coming into here, you've got all of the closet space with nice automatic lights, which we have fully moved into. This is the primary bathroom and the floors are radiant heat. So it's very toasty in the morning, which is really nice. And then around here is the shower and it's like a beautiful walk-in shower with the tub and rainfall from the ceiling, it's really beautiful. Then coming into here is the primary suite and you can really hear the, dip. like it's so sound isolating here. We've been sleeping really late because it's just so sound isolating. And again, that same really beautiful view and uh, you can see Big Ben and Westminster right down there. And you've got uh, another view here, which is either east, west, north, or south facing one of those. I am not quite sure. And then the bed, which is nicely made. That's it for the room tour. Stick around for more vlog. Coming to you now from Soho Farmhouse, about an hour and a half north of London in the English countryside, and it is really nice. It's really beautiful. We woke up this morning to a milk float, it's called, and it's basically like a old milk truck that they've converted into a kitchen, and they gave us menus that we ordered from for breakfast, and they made breakfast right in that milk float and gave it to us in our room, which is really nice and cute. After that, we had signed up for clay pigeon shooting. I have some clips of that that I'm gonna put in here. Okay, gun is live. And pull! Bang. Well done, good yeah. stuff. Take that head well forward. And mark! Bang. There you go. Do it my way and you hit them. Yeah. I'm gonna do one of each. I was not the best at it. It was the first time I ever shot a gun before, and I know it was, uh, you know, a lot of people have done this before, but I don't know, it made me a little bit nervous, but I was pretty good and I shot a bunch and uh, which I was shocked, honestly shocked. I said to the instructor before, I was like, has anyone ever not shot a single one? And he said, no. And I was like, well, oh, okay, it's gonna be your first day. But I shot a bunch, so that was cool. Then we had some lunch in the main barn. There's several barns, all of which have different cuisines and styles. And it was, it was tasty. I had the roast chicken and it was really good. We're staying in a, a studio cabin. I'm gonna show you guys around, but first, let me show you some of the shopping that I did in London. I like to buy things on trips because it reminds me of those trips and it's special. So I ended up buying something from Goyard. Uh, I bought Louboutin shoes, which I've never bought before. And I actually bought a ring from Tiffany's, which I'm really excited about. So let's start with the Goyard bag first. I got this bag in Mayfair, right across from the Connaught Hotel, which we actually had drinks in and it was really good as well. And it was a amazing, like just like really nice, the presentation of the martini, it was, it was really nice. Anyway, this is the camera bag and I really like the size of this bag. It fits a ton, like you can just see for reference the for an iPhone if you're curious. And I got this in the black 
They had it in gray as well. I have the uh, one of the card holders in gray, and I was like, oh, maybe it would be cool to match, but I also, also have the billfold in this black color, so it matches that too. But I really like the, the strap size. The strap is super thin, so it's not gonna like be too bulky across your body. And inside, as you can see, there is one pocket on the inside, but it's mostly just a big uh, for you to put your stuff. And I thought, I think it looks really good with a nice black jacket and goes with my everyday sort of style without having to think too much about it, which I like. And I think it's really cool looking and it seems like a really high quality, nicely made bag. And uh, yeah, it's special to me now that I have, uh, that I bought this on this nice trip to London. Okay, Louboutin actually got these shoes in Harrods and Harrods is insane. I thought I had been to Harrods before. Anyway, Harrods, crazy. They've got the different, it's basically like a maze of brands and shop and sh like, you know, a shop within a shop and just, and really fun. And you can easily spend a day in there and get lost if you like to shop, obviously. But anyway, this is what I got. These are, I don't know the exact. They come in these nice red bags, which I thought was cool. But this is just a simple black Chelsea boot. I really like the, the shape of the toe. It's not too pointy, which is just like not me. And uh, the heel is not too insane, which I've seen a couple of Chelsea boots be uh, insane boot. And I like that they're, you know, kind of like, you know, they're not totally matte finish and they're not completely shiny and obviously the red bottom and if you can tell I've worn them I wore them once just to for reference and the red bottom is the lacquer is already starting to rub off which is expected and they they told me in the store like obviously the red bottom is gonna wear off as time goes on they are super comfortable let me get the other ones out too and obviously very easy to style with different looks and you know a black Black denim, black skinny jean, could go really nicely with a trouser, with a suit, uh, with a tux, whatever. So uh, those are the Louboutins. I kind of like, I'm like laughing because it's just like funny to say Louboutin. Huh? These are my Louboutins. Is it on the box? Samsung flat. All right, last but not least, from Tiffany's. I bought this at the Tiffany's on Sloan Street and it was a really nice experience. We had a really nice uh, sales associate. Her name was Margarita, and she had a lot of fun with us. And uh, she kept, she could tell I was on the fence about it. And she was like, "Do you want another glass of champagne?" And I was like, "Absolutely, yes." So, uh, but either way, I was gonna, I was gonna buy this ring. But um, it was a really nice experience, and I'm very happy with the ring. This is the lock ring in yellow gold. And I've decided that I'm going to wear this ring on my middle finger. And I really, I think it's just like a nice, simple, understated ring without being a, like a wedding band look. Like it's, it's got the cool lock design. And I don't know if you, you're familiar with that lock design. It is fairly new for Tiffany's, but they also have it in uh, a bracelet as well, which is cool. But I don't know, I think this is just kind of like simple and understated. And I looked up, the, I don't know if you know this, but there's actually a different meaning or a, a ring worn on each finger for a man symbolizes, maybe for a woman too, but symbolizes a, a different meaning. And a ring on the right middle finger symbolizes strength and confidence. I was like, well, that sounds like me. Just kidding. But oh, I thought I thought that was cool. Yeah, I liked that better than having it on the ring finger. And I just think this is a really pretty ring. I don't know, it looks cool with when I'm wearing like my gold watch and the gold David Yerman box chains and then this gold ring. It's a it's a nice vibe and I think it looks really handsome and I'm excited to have this now as part of my jewelry collection. My first my first ring. Cool. Anyway, let me show you guys around this room. It's really a uh, it, room. It's an entire standalone cabin, but let me show you around because it's really cool. So when you enter in through this door, you enter in and there's this cute little kitchen and it's actually like a full functioning kitchen, although it doesn't seem to be that way. These are actually refrigerators and there's all chilled spirits in here, like a mini bar. And there's food and nice cheeses. I know it's really dark. And you got your snacks in here and you've got your cutlery. 
and you've got just like nice mugs and uh, there's like tea towels in here uh, this is the trash bin but it just feels like you're staying in a cottage and it's like you're staying in someone's home it's it's really nice anyway come through here into the main living area and you've got the nice couch and this fire that uh I'm about to light one in a second because it's just so cozy and honestly really easy to do. But uh, really beautiful vaulted ceilings in here and it comes over here to the little bedroom area. But uh, what's, what's nice is that we've got this balcony as well and it goes out or deck, full deck, and it goes out and you can see the little creek. I don't know if that's what you would consider that, but that's what I'm gonna call it. And we're actually quite quite a few ways away from any sort of neighbor. The neighbor is all the way over there, so we're very secluded and private, which is nice. I'm sorry this isn't as clean as maybe I would have wanted it to be, but you know, we're, we're staying here and our stuff is here. Coming up into the bedroom. This is not a king bed. This is bigger than a king bed. I don't, I think it's just custom. It's, it's so huge. It really nice. This is where I was just sitting doing that unboxing for you. I kind of like, put this shade up to get a little more light in, but there's a nice little sitting area. And then here is the only wardrobe, but it's totally fine. It's more than enough for the two nights that we're here. But yeah, I've been sleeping really well. And then coming in here, you've got the bathroom, nice standalone tub. And then what's cool about Soho House is they give all these products in here. So you've got like a couple different shampoos, conditioners, they've got a you know uplifting shower gel invigorating shower gel so depending on your mood so it's actually quite large as you can tell and it's been really cute in here i think now i'm gonna make a fire i think that's it for the london vlog thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and i'm gonna enjoy these cookies that I shouldn't be eating and nice little coffee and I'll catch you guys back in New York.